March 11, 1937, and surrounded by good neighbors and friends. I got married at 19, and I think my mama got married when she was 18, so I tried to follow suit. <laughs> <laughs> I have four daughters. My first wife had aneurysm when she was 42 years old and passed away before she got to the hospital. My youngest child was 14, and I kept them together, and Mama said, you come on down here and live with us. Now, this is my home up here, Mama. Kept them together and put them through school. I, my main thing was getting my oldest daughter to do something positive and hoping the others would fall suit, and they did. But I worked all the time. I didn't have time to stay here. And then I met my second wife, which was Richard Rosa. And we've been married 38 years, a good woman, so, you know. Both of them I met at church. Most of my siblings were born at the Red Hill. My daddy was a caretaker, a handyman, and it was kind of the overseer of the place at the time. After we moved up here in Campbell County, we started going back down there, working crops at Red Hill, riding horses down there, me and my brother, raising tobacco, and corn, wheat, crop, and all. Y'all remember a barn or something down there on the right side? Well, the cemetery was passed there, but I used to work, put tobacco in that barn, and killed the back in that ball. There are 147 graves at the Quarter Place Cemetery, and last summer I began research to figure out who some of those individuals were, and I was able to find 40 of them, and one of them happens to be your brother. So can you tell me a little bit about how you felt after you learned that it was your brother? I was very excited to know that, you know, because I had no idea, you know. I have a lot of ties to uh, Red Hill now, more ties to it. Thank you.